Hi everyone, my name is Professor Peter Nash from Griffith University in beautiful downtown Brisbane in Australia, reporting for Room Now from ACR Convergence in San Diego 2023. I thought we'd discuss a couple of the Premalast uh, abstracts presented here. One is abstract 1691, which looks at the foremost study. Now the foremost study is interesting because it took patients with less than five years of disease in fact, they had a median of six months of disease and a mean of about 10 months, so they're quite early patients. And they focused on a group we commonly see and we commonly get asked to see, which is the oligoarthritis group. And these patients had to have more than one but less than four swollen joints. And they had to have, um, this study went for 24 weeks. The primary endpoint was one that they uh, developed, which was called minimal disease activity, but focusing on joints. So the mandated improvement in the joints, and they added three out of five of the other elements, skin, uh, patient pain, patient global, as well as uh, skin itself and uh, function. So the primary endpoint was the MDA joints at 16 weeks, and they looked at all the usual other secondary uh, parameters, you could escape at 16 weeks. At the end of 24 weeks, all placebo patients went on to um, active drug out to 48 weeks, and they had 90% of patients who lasted and maintained out to 48 weeks. They had about a third of the patients who were CSD mard naive, and about 40% had concomitant background therapy, mainly methotrexate and a little bit of sulfasalazine. So they had to have active disease. They had uh, C dapses of over 16, pastases of five, six percent had body surface area greater than three percent, active hack, and 64 percent had a score called the pass and was not in an acceptable state. They were mainly about 50 year olds, 58 percent women, and most of the joint involvement in the PIP joints and um, a small number discontinued, mainly for uh, nuisance adverse effects like diarrhoea. Um, the uh, primary endpoint, as I said, was 16 weeks MDA joints. They, it was a placebo-controlled double-blind trial against 30 milligrams twice a day of apremolast, and they had uh, significant improvements in tender joints, in body surface area, in patient pain, patient global and hack and numerically superior results for numerically better results for swollen joints and leads enthesitis score. So we had a bunch of oligo patients, a bunch of early disease patients who did well on a premolas compared to um, placebo. So what's the implications of this study? In our country we can only get a premolas for psoriasis and we wanted it as adjunctive add-on therapy for patients who had milder disease, patients who were only partially controlled with a biologic or one other agent, and that's where I think it will fit in the best. In our country, we have to have failed two conventional synthetic agents for 24 weeks to be eligible for a biologic agent, and we would like those two to be methotrexate and a premolast before going to a biologic rather than leflunamide or sulfasalazine which really has very little evidence of efficacy, no efficacy much on skin and other domains like axial, radiological progression, etc. So we'd like to see a premolast approved in our country for those patients who needed an add-on therapy for partial response, for those patients with milder disease, for those patients who are recovering from an adverse effect and need some therapy, and we see there's an important role in the future for this particular agent if we can get it approved by our regulators and our reimbursers. Thank you very much for your attention.